Let's head up the mountain with FWT Commissioner Lola Bess and check out the Bec de Ross. Find out about security, safety, and all the preparation that goes into the extreme verbier. Our goal today is to reach the top, make the boot pack, and uh, secure the face. See how all this new snow will react. Definitely one of the toughest time like to reach the summit. Look at this accumulation of snow right under my armpit. I saw it. Go that out. I did work. Just fixing a rope. You know what? That's a place where you're happy to have a rope. So I have to come back down because the snow is higher than me. And I will uh, enter this couloir with the rope to see if it's uh, dangerous or not. Three meters of snow, which is uh, a lot for this face. Oh la la! Oh, mais c'est énorme! The insider caught up with the ringleader of this whole thing, founder and CEO of the FWT, and the brains behind the Extreme Verbier to find out a bit more about the history of this event here at the 25th edition. We had a long lens camera uh, at Gentian, and a lot of people gathered to watch us right down the back, and that triggered the idea of bringing the best uh, freeriders, uh, best snowboarders of the world on that mountain to have an incredible show. The most memorable moment was the first edition of the Very Extreme with Steve Klassen, Gilles Voirol and Jérôme Ruby taking different lines and showcasing the incredible options of riding on this mountain. The line that changed everything, there's many, but there's one I remember which was Ian McIntosh. He rode the Beck as a skier for the first time in a very impressive way. The Beck is so steep that when you fall you spend more time in the air um, and you go over cliffs. Um, this is probably um, why we've had um, no very bad accidents in 25 years. Snow conditions are exceptional this year for the 25th anniversary, so it could be a, a very nice birthday present um, with one of the most exciting snowpack ever. 